How do you practice Malama Aina? And does this influence your decision making? Senator Gabbard. You want a yes, no answer on that? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how do you practice it? Well, yes. Do you practice? Yeah, do you practice? And then basically give us one, you know, a, a quick one. So. Okay. Yes, Malama Aina, taking care of the, uh, the land. earth, the land. Uh, number one, I have a, a nonprofit called Healthy Hawaii Coalition. We have been uh, trying to protect the island for many, many years. My daughter, Tulsi, and I co-founded it. We do uh, watershed education in all the public schools, the free public service that we do. Uh, and also, I'm very aware, very much aware of Malama Aina and being the chair of the Energy Environment Committee. While we are very excited about uh, utilizing more renewable energy, we must always, always be careful that we that it is that precious Aina that we are protecting. Thank you, Senator Governor. Just so everyone, that, let me re ask it there. I kind of got confused with another question we're looking at. How do you practice Malama Aina? Does this practice influence your decision making? So, yes, take the floor. Okay. Uh, aloha. I'm uh, Dean Kalani Capaluto, and uh, I'm part Hawaiian, so I have, it's in my blood to uh, take care of the land. Um, I, uh, I do a little bit of hydroponics on the side, and I, uh, I uh, grow uh, tilapia. Um, and uh, one of the things I'm uh, pushing for is the uh, GMO labeling and uh, trying to get rid of, uh, you know, it's controversial, the issue of GMOs, but uh, I am definitely uh, in favor of them labeling GMOs. And we got to look closely at uh, what they are doing up in Cunea as far as poisoning our, uh, our farmland. So... Hopefully that answers your question.